This wasn't Thomas Rawls' first big game, but it was definitely his biggest. With 225 all-purpose yards and Seattle's win against the 49ers, the Seahawks' rookie running back continues to make the most of whatever opportunities he gets behind Marshawn Lynch. And if Lynch's abdominal issue lingers, Rawls has shown the Seahawks' running game is in good hands. It's hard to imagine that anyone in the NFL is having more fun than Cam Newton right now. After throwing five touchdowns in a win Sunday against Washington, Newton deserves to be as silly as he wants. Could he even wind up dancing his way to the MVP award? He probably has a lot of work to do to catch Tom Brady in that race, but we should definitely be talking about it. Happy birthday, Brock Osweiler. The Denver Broncos quarterback picked up his first career win in his first career start all on his 25th birthday. So who should the Broncos start this week against the Patriots? After what we saw of Osweiler against Chicago, he's the quarterback who gives the Broncos the best chance to win. San Diego Chargers head coach Mike McCoy is the newest coach on the hot seat after yet another disastrous performance against an AFC West opponent. In the last month, San Diego has been dominated at home by the Raiders and now the Chiefs. Sure, the Chargers have been hit by injuries, but there is no excuse for these blowouts, especially with a more than capable quarterback like Phillip Rivers. We should remember Sunday as a historic day for number one pick Jameis Winston. But we cannot overlook just how dreadful the Philadelphia Eagles defense was in allowing Winston to throw for those five touchdowns and for Tampa Bay running back Doug Martin to rush for those 235 yards. What sort of Eagles team is Chip Kelly running right now? And after a blowout loss like that, how much longer can Kelly keep his locker room together? So what has happened to the New York Jets defense? It was one thing, maybe, to get run over last week by the Bills' LaShawn McCoy, but surrendering 24 points to a Houston Texans team quarterbacked by TJ Yates? That's unacceptable. And right now, the Jets hardly look like a team that's deserving of an AFC wildcard spot.